Hello guys, this is just going to be a quick video to show you one of the features of my uh, new RC controller. I'm going to do a couple of videos like this because uh, there's quite a few little features that I've added to it or a couple of ideas that I'm adding. So I'm going to spread the different features out over uh, a couple of different videos. The first thing to take a look at is the uh, menu system. Um, I'm just using the push buttons to uh, control the menu so just move the little arrow up and down but you can uh, use the touch screen if you want I haven't added that code in yet I have a lot of other functions to add before I start worrying about that but uh, I have lots of different functions here so the first four are just the RC vehicles the normal uh, tractors and lorries uh, the excavators I have a thing for trailers there, but I don't have any trailers yet. I have only one tractor working at the minute, so I'll probably show you a video uh, controlling that at some stage. I've been working on the infrared helicopters, but I'm only getting partial control. Uh, it's those SEMA S107 helicopters. and I think I have a SEMA 036 or something like that as well. Um, the Control 32, I haven't figured out the infrared for that yet, so uh, I have nothing to show you for that. Um, I don't have the drones or robots working so can't show you that. One of the first things you do when you're playing around with Arduinos and infrared LEDs is figure out how to control your TV and stuff like that. So I've done a little bit with that I'll show you that in another video. Uh, just simple things. Uh, but another easy thing to add are some games. Adding things like games is a lot easier than uh, the RC vehicles because the code for the games are already there. Whereas the RC vehicles were you know, building that code from scratch ourselves. So all I had to do here was just copy the code uh, for the game into the library for the controller and then um, just tell the code where the different controls were. So there's a couple of games here. Uh, I'll give you an example. This brick one, I haven't got this uh, figured out properly yet. So it just kind of glitches out. doesn't really do anything. Well, you can see the, the pointer there moves around. Uh, I forget how you get it to do the game though. can't remember anyway that game doesn't work I know that much and that one even freezes in but I'll have that working before you guys get the controllers anyway here's Pong there's another problem with this one the controller is really fast I might turn this into like a two-player game where one joystick is one player and the other joystick is the other player and instead of the joystick being able to move the full screen or the paddle being able to move the full screen it's just limited to maybe a third of the screen or something like that then two players could play the game might make it more like air hockey where there's like a small goal that you're aiming for on your opponent's side that that might be an idea then the game that I like is snake and you know these kind of games a little bit complex but you know all the code is there already other people have worked on these um, on these games for Arduinos before so there's nothing new, we're just adding it to our game controller instead. Another feature on this game is that with the encoder you can slow the snake down a bit. So that's the kind of games you can add to the controller if you want. Uh, I just have them included as a kind of uh, thing to demonstrate that you can do more than just control RC tractors with something like this. You know, we have all these controls, you can see here's the values. We have all these joysticks and we have the encoders, four encoders there. So we have two joysticks and in the software you can just keep cycling through these encoders so you can have as many encoders as you wanted if whatever function you were doing so uh, while two joysticks and uh, maybe four encoders is enough for the uh, radio control tractors and stuff if you had a robot that needed loads of functions you can just keep adding them with the encoders you just keep clicking the button to get on to the next one it's it's pretty simple so that was just a quick demo of the kind of things you can do with uh, this controller I'm gonna keep uh, adding to the code and I'll show you uh, some more features later on. In the next video about the controller I'll probably uh, show you one of the 
tractors being controlled because I've been doing a lot of work on the, the code for different tractors and uh, I think I'm getting close to something that I'm pretty happy with from a control point of view you know it has a uh, it deals with packet loss and stuff like that a little bit better so you know what's happening and that reminds me of another thing uh, when you're working with the NRF radio modules if you find that you're getting very poor reception but if you hold your finger in the vicinity of the of the module and you start to get good reception that might be an indicator that you're transmitting with too much power so I was getting that problem and when I reduced the power to low there's four different settings I set mine to the second lowest setting I think it's called low and I'm losing very few packets when it's in a line of sight condition so if uh, if the controller can see the RC tractor as it would do in most cases uh, I'm getting pretty much perfect I'm losing very few packets definitely not enough to interfere with the uh, performance of the RC tractor anyway so that's all I really wanted to show you in this video that it, this isn't just uh, radio controller you can control lots of different things or make games on it or you know you can do lots of different things with this I've had a few people say they're interested in these controllers so next month I'll run a, a little Kickstarter and anyone who wants one can uh, can you know add themselves to the list I'll get a bunch of the PCBs made and send them out to you guys so if you like the video make sure and hit the like button and the share button and all that stuff and uh, if you have any comments or suggestions about what we could do different things that we could control here this is just a list that I kind of come up with of things that I might be able to uh, figure out myself easily enough but if you've other ideas uh, let us know in the comments and I think that's everything so thanks very much for watching mm -hmm.